dried cranberries or raisins, finely chopped red onion, and sun dried tomatoes in oil, cut into small bits with a pair of scissors. Then add chopped almonds and mixed seeds, toasted on a pan for a couple of minutes. Next is the dressing with mayo or vegan mayo, Greek style yogurt, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, salt, and black pepper. Whisk until creamy, then pour over your broccoli salad and toss Ooh. until everything is coated in the sauce. It's a quick, easy, and a wholesome lunch idea. To a large bowl, add cooked lentils, cherry tomatoes, diced cucumber, thinly sliced red onion, olives, and chopped parsley. Then make a quick mustard dressing with extra virgin olive oil, mustard, fresh lemon juice, grated garlic, some cumin, salt, and black pepper. Whisk until well combined. Now pour the dressing over the veggies and toss until fully coated. Guys, you can serve this on a platter. Put some crumbled feta or non dairy feta on top. Add the farro to a large bowl. Then add half cherry tomatoes, diced cucumber, diced bell pepper, chopped red onion, corn, olives, chickpeas, and chopped parsley. Pour the dressing over the salad. Toss until the veggies are perfectly combined with the farro. Easy, right? Freshly squeezed lemon juice, salt, black pepper, a clove of crushed garlic, fresh basil leaves, and a couple of mint leaves. Now mix it well so that zucchini are fully coated in the seasoning. Then set it aside to marinate for 30 to 60 minutes. We marinate the zucchini and lemon juice so that they get softer and lose some water. You've got to discard this, otherwise your salad will get soggy. Cool, so now we can transfer the zucchini onto a serving platter, arrange the zucchini ribbons so that they look pretty, garnish with half cherry tomatoes, some toasted pine nuts, some more fresh herbs, and don't forget some black pepper and a generous drizzle of good quality extra virgin. Now cut the avocado in half, remove the stone, score the flesh into dice and scoop it out and into the bowl. I'm actually gonna change this and put it onto a platter because I think it's gonna look prettier. Now I'm gonna add diced red bell pepper and thinly sliced shallot or a mild red onion. We're gonna keep the seasoning simple with just a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice, olive oil and a tiny pinch of salt. Toss gently, we don't want to ruin the avocado. Garnish with thinly sliced red chili pepper and some fresh mint leaves. They're delicious with the mango. 